हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडेज टॉपिक इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू रेगुलर एक्सप्रेशन ओके एज वी स्टडी अर्लियर अबाउट द फाइनेट ऑटोमेटा टाइप्स ऑफ फाइनेट ऑटोमेटा लाइक एन एफ ए डी एफ ए एन एप्सलन एन एफ ए नाउ द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक विच इज रिलेटेड टू ऑटोमेटा विच इज यूज इन कंपाइलर डिजाइन दैट इज रेगुलर एक्सप्रेशन ओके सो if we see the different category or we can say if, if a language is a regular language rl it can it have different type of category okay we can categorize this into three uh, area one is the regular language has to be accept by a machine which can be it's a mathematical structure which we can accept by a फाइनाइट ऑटोमेटा ओके तो दिस रेगुलर लैंग्वेज एक्सेप्टेड बाय सम फाइनाइट ऑटोमेटा विच कैन बी फर्दर क्लासीफाई इन टू टू टाइप वन इज विद आउटपुट एंड अनदर वन इज विद आउट आउटपुट विद आउटपुट हैव ऑल्सो हैव टू कैटेगरी दैट इज मूरे एंड मीले एंड द विदाउट आउटपुट हैव थ्री कैटेगरी दैट इज डी एफ एन एफ ए and epsilon nfa okay so in the compiler design we already concerned about the finite automata without output that is dfa nfa and epsilon nfa which we which uh, all these topic is uh, uh, used in compiler design so, and with output category is not considered in the compiler design okay which we already discussed the second category of this regular language is that we have to generate a uh we have to generate a string that accept the particular language okay so for the generation of this regular language we have a regular grammar okay we have a regular grammar which can be right linear grammar and left linear grammar which we discuss uh in our uh future video and the last category is that for this regular language we have some representation we have some representation so we the regular language can be represented by regular expression re and this regular expression if we take any language which is accepted by finite automata we can represent it by using regular expression okay so this regular expression have three category for the category one is union which we represented by plus sign second is concatenation which we represented by dot sign and the third one is clean closure which we represented by asterisk sign okay so this the regular language which we represented by some regular expression and regular expression use these three category union function concatenation function and clean closure now there are three rules the rule one is that we have a regular expression with which we known as primitive regular expression and for this primitive regular expression we have some uh, language and for the particular language we have some expression or we have a some representation which we called as a regular expression for example if we have a language like this then for this language we have a representation or we can say we have a regular expression represented by phi another one is if we have a language like this epsilon in in the curly braces we have a representation or we have a regular expression epsilon okay if we have a language like this that a belongs to sigma then for regular expression having language it can be represented by uh, for this a we have a language a or we have a language b so this is the first rule that which is known as a primitive regular expression rule to say that if we apply any operation any three operation whether it is union concatenation or clean closure so we apply any operation to any of these primitive regular expression then any with any number of times then what we get the result is also a regular expression then 
it means that rules to say that we apply any operation if we apply any operation to any these regular expression or to any these uh, uh, regular expression and at any number of time we get the result we get is also a regular expression for example r1 plus r2 by using union function operation r2 dot r r1 dot r2 using concatenation function operation and third one is r1 asterisk which is a clean closure and third rule is that if we use rule a and rule 2 any number of times then the final result we get is also a the result final result we get is also a regular expression regular expression okay so this is a basic of a uh, regular expression that we have three operation and we also have three rules so by using these operation and by using these three rules uh, we perform some uh conversions okay so before moving further if we uh we have a representation like this a asterisk it means that if the language which describe this a asterisk is epsilon a a a a a a and so on this means uh, instead of uh yeah in place of this asterisk we put any number including zero if i put zero here we get epsilon if i put one we have a language a a only a if i put two we have a language a a and so on and in in place of this asterisk if i have plus sign then the language this represent is a a a and so on it means that in place of plus we have any number excluding zero okay so the difference between these two is it excludes the zero and asterisk includes the zero okay so uh, now using these all these rules or all these operations uh, we construct some or we write some regular expression we write regular expression for some language okay for example if i have a sigma called a comma b of means or we have a input a comma b and the first example is that if we have a language for all strings for all strings having length exactly 2 so for this language i have to write the regular expression so what's the procedure for that first we consider that if we have a language for exactly two language then the what is the language the language is represented by like this a a a b b a and b b this means that this language is finite language okay so if this is a finite if this is for the finite case then in if the language is finite then there then there is a finite automata and regular expression is possible so we apply union to this language means if the language is finite then we apply union between this language so after applying union to this language we get ab plus aa plus ba plus bb okay uh in for these two expression if we take a as common then what we get a plus b and for this we if we take b as common then what we get a plus b so the final answer is a plus b and a plus b and this is the regular expression for this language okay now the second example we have to write a regular expression for a language where for all strings whose length whose length is at least 2 so first we write down the language for this case so the language is for at least 2 means uh the language is starts from 2 for the number 
then three and four, then so on. Means the language like look like this: A A, A B, uh, B A, B B. So the all these four language is of length two, then three, triple A, and so on. See, it means that this language is infinite. So uh, for the uh, infinite language, we do not apply any union category. So how we write down the regular expression for this means in this case just see in this case for at least two condition we have uh, the we have exactly two uh, having uh, the string having length two for we already calculate so for exactly two length we have a regular expression like this but for the at least two condition okay it means at least two means two three four and five and six for two we have already calculated if we write have a plus b asterisk so if we place in uh, in place of asterisk if i put zero then we what we get the string having length two okay if i place one here then what we get i we get a string the for a length three if i place two here what i get of string length four so this is how we get for this language okay now third example is uh write the uh, we have to write a regular expression okay uh, for all strings having set of strings having even length even length means that the string contain a uh, length of uh, length of 0 2 4 6 and so on so how we calculate means this language is infinite so for the two length of two we have a plus b and a plus b so if for even length of uh, string we have 0 2 4 and so on means if i write down like this a plus b a plus b whole asterisk and if I put asterisk in place of asterisk, if I put 0, then what we get? Epsilon means the length, the string having length 0. If I put 2 here, if I put 1 here, what we get? Uh, the length, length of string having length 2. So, this is how we get the string for even length. Okay. Now, the fourth example is, if I want to write down the regular expression for a length, uh, for a language having odd length. Odd length means uh, 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 3, okay, 1, 3, uh, 5 and so on. So, we write down like this, A plus B, A plus B, whole asterisk, as we already calculated for a le even length. And if I add one more A plus B, then if I put 0 here, so this whole will be calculated as epsilon. Then last value is AB. Means of length 1. So this is how we get the string of length odd length. Okay. So this is how we write down the regular expression uh, for particular language. Now the next is. Uh, we, now we see the, some building blocks for conversion of. Conversion of some regular expression to finite automata. Okay. Some building block. So, first, if the regular expression is phi, then what is the finite automata for this regular expression? As we already discussed, means like this. Phi means nothing. It means the finite automata look like this. Second example is, if, if I have a regular expression A, then for this, the finite automata here is, if this is the initial state, we have a string, only string A and then we get the final state. So, these are the some building blocks. Okay. Now, the third example is A plus B. A plus B means the regular expression is A plus B but the language is A comma B. Then how we uh, draw the finite automata? If this is the initial state, then here we can get A or B and then we have a final state. Next, fourth, if I have a regular expression like this, a, b asterisk means a is only one time and b is 
having any number of times then the final automata is if this is the initial state first we the language starts with always with a and in end we can get any number of b means this is the final state and here there is a loop which gets any number of b's okay then uh, more example like uh, a b whole asterisk means in this uh, we have a finite automata for uh, any number any number of times of b a sorry a b so if i represent like this that this is the initial state or also a final state and we have a b uh, as a loop so here we get the a b any number of times but we do not represent this like this that uh, this is the initial state and this is also a final state so in this we take a method called state creation method here we create a new state like this here it takes the input a and give back b as input so if i start from this initial state and if i have a uh, language called ab so this is the initial state it moves to a to this state and then b so a b any number of times okay so this is how the this is the basic of regular expression and uh, how we convert the regular expression into the finite automata our next topic is that they how we convert the finite automata to the regular expression so for that please see or please watch uh, please watch our next video thanks for watching